everything we do and every action we take has a direct and indirect effect on the climate. Driving to school, cooling off with air conditioning, and even turning on the water when we wash our hands all have consequences on the environment. But have you thought about how you eat? And have you thought about how your food choices can harm or heal the planet? Because it certainly can. And the fact is that what we eat has far-reaching consequences on the environment, whether we realize it or not. Climate change is real, and it's happening right now. And one of the leading causes of climate change is global warming. We might have all heard about this term, but what does global warming mean? Global warming refers to the increase of the Earth's average temperature. This temperature increase may just be one or two degrees, which might not feel much if it's your hot chocolate or your room temperature. But on a global scale, the circumstances change drastically. Let's have a look at what causes global warming in the first place. It is clear that human activities, such as manufacturing, transportation, and energy, release harmful gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane into the air. These gases are what we call greenhouse gases. From chimneys of huge factories to the exhaust pipes of cars and trucks, we see these toxic gases daily. They are released in millions of tons into the atmosphere every single day. And among the greenhouse gases, the most dangerous of them is methane. Methane is the second biggest contributor to global warming after carbon dioxide. However, methane is so much more dangerous than other greenhouse gases because it traps 28 times more heat than carbon dioxide. Yikes! So where does all this methane come from? The biggest source of methane in the atmosphere is the food production industry. And the biggest contributor in this industry is meat, specifically beef. Now you may be wondering, how does raising beef contribute to global warming? Well, it can and it does, and here's how. Firstly, it's got to do with deforestation. It means clearing forests, cutting down trees to make room for other purposes. And cattle farming or raising livestock is the biggest cause of logging in the Amazon. Since the last few decades, 80% of forests cleared in the Amazon has been to raise livestock. The second way that raising livestock contributes to global warming has to do with the methane that the cows produce. The cattle industry is the biggest contributor to greenhouse gases, and methane makes up half of it. Cows produce methane in two ways when they are digesting it by burping and farting, and when they execrate it by peeing and pooing. The problem is so bad that climate experts are saying that eating beef is the worst thing you could possibly do to harm the planet. Uh, the food industry is responsible for up to 25% of greenhouse emissions, which is more than the whole transportation industry, cars, buses, trains, planes, and ships combined. So scientists are saying that in order to stop or reverse climate change, we have to drastically change the way we eat. We have to make better decisions on how to eat more responsibly, more sustainably, and in a way that doesn't harm, but heal the environment. Red meat, especially beef, has a huge carbon footprint as we have seen. And so to make an impact, we need to reduce the amount of beef we eat. Simple enough, right? Let's see what happens when you cut down on beef. Besides the benefits for the climate, there are health benefits as well. You'll decrease the risk of heart disease. You'll decrease the chance of having cancer. And you'll be in better shape and can enjoy a longer life. Besides, you'll also save money and contribute to the reduction of animal cruelty. I know some of you really like beef, but I'm sure that the more you know, the better decisions you will make. I was just like you, and I used to eat beef very often. But after I realized how bad it was to the earth, I changed my eating habits, and now I fill up on vegetables rather than red meat. 
it is hard to make a drastic change overnight. But we can all start small. It's how I started, and maybe you could do the same. Let's change our diet to benefit the climate. Here's how we do it. First, we make meat our side dish. Most of us have grown up eating meat as the main dish with a side of vegetables or rice. But now we're going to switch this around and make vegetables our main dish and have a little bit of meat on the side. Nowadays, I have a big portion of vegetables and maybe just a little bit of chicken on the side. And by the way, chicken is also a better alternative to beef in terms of the impact on the environment. Secondly, we can be creative. Accompany your parents when they grocery shop. Have a good look at all the options in the produce section. You'll probably spot something you've never tried before. And so be adventurous and try something new. The internet is a great place to know more about your fruits and vegetables. And you can probably find some good meatless recipes online too. Lately, I accompany my mom when she goes to the supermarket or to the farmer's market. And I've tried some different fruits and vegetables I never did before. You can also be creative by trying different cuisines. A lot of Asian and Mexican dishes are delicious and vegetarian. I recently tried Indian food and discovered I really like butter chicken. By the way, it wasn't really chicken. And finally, let's substitute our favorite foods for healthier options. We can try tofu instead of chicken, Satan instead of pork in our favorite recipes. And if you like burgers, there are so many plant-based options out there. Many meat eaters are actually trying these plant-based burgers, and even national food chains are selling them. We can also make substitutions for our favorite dishes. I really like mapo tofu, and instead of using pork, my mom has been making it with beans, carrots, and other vegetables. It is so good, and I'm enjoying it all the same. Those are just a few ideas on how to cut down on your beef consumption and incorporate more vegetables and plant proteins into your diet. As long as we understand the facts and are committed to change, it will get easier to change our eating habits. Now we know what the problems are. The link between raising cattle and greenhouse gases. The massive deforestation to make room for livestock and the cruel conditions of factory farmed animals. So let's do the right thing and choose foods that heal and not harm the environment. However you choose to reduce your meat, first, by making it your side dish, second, by cr being creative and trying different cuisines, or third, by making substitutions. Make it a commitment and start making better decisions about what you eat. I bet you never thought that you could sit at the dinner table and fight climate change with a fork and knife, or with chopsticks, and neither did I. But right now, the most important thing you and I can do immediately for the climate is to cut down our beef consumption. In half, to a quarter, or better yet, totally. And the best part is that this small change to your diet isn't going to drastically change the way you eat, but it will create a huge and positive impact on the environment. So let's change our diet to benefit the climate. Thank you.